The really challenged as an educator preparing these nurses are the nurses who go into these community practices because you have nurses that they'll have a patient comes in with breast cancer and then you have another patient comes in with GI cancer, you have another patient comes in with leukemia, then another one with lymphoma, another one with melanoma, and they have to know everything. And how do you wrap your mind around that? So what kind of way can we give them um, enough information, whether it's in our program or whether once they graduate, how do you keep them current in some of the issues that patients experience? We know that patients overall are in treatment over the course of their disease for a short period of time. But that symptom management and the monitoring of that by the nurses in that practice is critical. They are really kind of their lifeline. So they need to set up a system for communicating with them. And the best way to do it is to be able to see the same patient. And some practices, they just have people come in and they take whoever's available. Yeah. Whereas I think some of the more sophisticated practices and that understand the role of the nurse and the importance of that relationship and that trust because you want the patient to be able to call back in and if they're having a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, callback systems are also oh. a tremendous challenge. So it's not easy, Barbara, and the whole notion about uh, multiple therapies and not, you know, if you're dealing with somebody with radiation and chemotherapy, it's a double whammy. Um, but we, uh, as educators, have responsibility to set up uh, systems that help them. Uh, assessment, other other kinds of tools that make the jobs easier. I'm thinking about two things that we really need to implement as well. I mean, one is a thirst for continuing education. That once you graduate, and especially in an oncology um, facility or um, specialty, you know, you're going to have to stay on top and and want to continue to learn and seek out continuing education credits or certifications. Um, the other aspect I think is really important is to teach nurses how to work within interdisciplinary teams because we can't do it all, um, but we may be the coordinator or we may be the, the person that the family trusts, but we also have to be able to you know, work with physical therapists or speech and language therapists or other disciplines that are involved in that patient's mm -hmm. care and be able to communicate and coordinate and again you know continue to um, improve care from that perspective yes. that's a really good point i find that in my practice certainly reminding nurses that really much of their independent function is around the whole area of symptom management and care coordination and um, that's where they can often have the biggest independent impact for the patient and the family um, and it's really a very rewarding part of many staff nurses practice to um, work with patients and families very closely identify problems and make as you point out the appropriate referrals to uh, other team members I think that continues to change. I think the role of the nurse and, and the challenges of the oncology nurse managing many of our oral agents, as we're saying, many of these agents are um, going to be administered at home by families, does become education. But nurses are very good at symptom management. We have done so much research over since the 80s in pain management and in, in managing issues, all sorts of nausea, fatigue, uh, you know, and I think that when those issues come to nursing, we're there standing there ready to address them. And I think this is our arena where we shine. Well, I think what you're bringing up, Janine, is that there's a huge body of research done by nurses, done by nurses. <clears throat> that can make a difference in how do you get feed them those research right. results. And I think that dissemination yeah. has mm -hmm. always been an issue. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of the research we've done. I'm proud of where we've come, but that is the work we have to do. And I think NIH it's is it it's getting it to them. And that's why we have the new dissemination yeah. mechanism in grant funding to be able to think about how do we collect all this data we know and, and to get it yeah. to and folks who need it. Practice. That's yeah. right. And I think that'll continue throughout my career to, to where we see the research growing mm -hmm. in these dissemination applications.